Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This this is Creative Crackers 107 and I am Shiva. In this video, we are going to make an absolutely cool gadget that Iron Man uses. It's nothing but the Iron Man Rocket Launcher. Iron Man Rocket Launcher. Oh. This is not going to be a hydrogen or nuclear bombs. It is just going to be an electromagnetic launcher. And in this video, I am going to explain you how you can easily build it. I want for you or your friends. It's it's very easy to wear, just put your hand inside and this is the trigger to launch this to launch to launch this rocket. If you like such kind of projects, just subscribe to our channel so that you can always see it in the first row of watching. You will be notified whenever we upload a video. And before going moving on to the video, just share this share this video with your friends and family and we can enlarge our community. They're greater and our next video is going to be a captain america shield which is foldable make sure you subscribe to our channel and you can watch the contents we are uploading it regularly this is creative progress not on someone and i'm sure that's it let's get started First of all, take two copper coils of 300 tons each. It may be even 200 to 300 or 300 to 350. We know that when we apply a electric field across the coil, it gets magnetized. In this case, we are going to apply a 25 volt from the capacitor for a short span of time. The coil gets magnetized and starts to attack the iron bullet. You can even place it nail instead of this drill bit. Now the coil, is, the coil is magnetized and the bullet is being attracted. Once it reaches the center, we are going to cut off the voltage. When the power is being stopped, the coil can no longer act as a magnet. But the, this bullet is traveling with a velocity and it has no force to retard it. And it's further moving, we are going to magnetize the second coil. And it's now magnetized and the bullet is further attracted and it again gains some energy I mean kinetic energy with it and once it reaches the center we are going to cut off this voltage now the coil has gained maximum kinetic energy with which we are going to throw it out and it can hit the target but practically speaking all the switching process taking nanoseconds or microseconds so it is impossible for humans or us to do it manually to overcome this process we are going to use an Arduino microcontroller and a 5 volt relay of two pieces this Arduino is programmable and we can adjust the timing as we want in the relay there is 3 pin on one side and 2 pin on the other side on the top there are 3 pins these two pins are for switching on and off the relay. Whenever we supply a 5 volt to these two pins, it gets switched on. And the center pin is called common pin. When this common pin is connected to normally closed in non ordinary times, and when we supply 5 volt to both the pins, it gets the connection is from common to normally open. This is the picture of Arduino you know, board. It contains many digital pins but we are going to use the pin number 6 and 7 for this project. These digital pins can give an output of 5 volt to this relay. Just assume one pin has ground and another pin has 5 volt. It's just our assumption only. Join the negative of two relay and connect it to the ground and the positive of the two relay to the pin number 6 and 7. To supply the 25 volt we are choosing the capacitor of 25 volt and 6800 microfarad. Join the positive of the capacitor to one end of the coil and the negative to the common pin. You have to do this both do this for both the relays and capacitors. Join the NO pin 
to the remaining end of the coil. This is the final of the circuit. Now we have to add switch to op control this process. Join one point of the switch directly to 5 volt and another part via a 10k resistor to ground and in between the 10k resistor join a wire and put it down to the pin number 2. Now the circuit is completed. Now I am going to explain it how it works. When we turn on the switch the relay 1 gets on and the power starts to move on from the capacitor and reaches the coil which simultaneously magnetize the coil and repeat the process. Within few milliseconds the relay is turned on which in turn demagnetizes the coil and the second relay is turned on which magnetizes the, magnetize the second coil and the bullet is being attracted. This is the working and I have explained it clearly. If you have any doubts just comment it down. Now we can start making it.